way they're going to book this match. I personally see whoever wins is going to win with some help. Uh, whether it's Kane coming in and, distra- and distracting Lesnar or somebody saying Sting coming in and distracting The Undertaker, whoever wins is going to win with a little bit of distraction help. Um, I really do think Lesnar's still going to win, but I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I could pick somebody straight out. I'm going to go Lesnar in, in a sh- who, with not much confidence, I guess. Okay. Um... Myself, personally, you know, I feel Lesnar can't lose this match um, just because it's Brock Lesnar and, uh, like, it's not realistic to have certain guys beat him and he's just a monster of a man. Uh, But I like the twist of Kane and or Sting, either one. I don't think the Sting twist is going to happen, but um, I think the Kane thing will happen, so... uh, Either Brock Lesnar wins by wins by pinfall or the Undertaker wins by disqualification. That's that's how I feel. Uh, yeah. Moving on, we're gonna have the Swiss Superman, the King of Swing, Cesaro, probably the hottest WWE superstar right now, taking on Walk Kevin Walk, Kevin Owens. Uh, we'll start with Nick because he loves Kevin Owens. But but the, but the thing is, I am a just as big of a fan as Cesaro. I love Cesaro. I love Kevin Owens. You can only take one, so you you either got to love Kevin Love or love Cesaro Love, one or the other. I think it's going to be a great match. I think physicality is going to be great physicality, great um, technical wrestling in this match. I really do. I'm going to go with Cesaro because he is hot. Um, he, he's, he, the fans are so behind in the Cesaro section. He's getting more time on the mic which I really do think he has improved in. I think it's going to be a very, very tough match, but I still say Cesaro goes over, and I'm very worried about how they're going to book Owens after tonight, especially since he lost last night. Okay. Um, if it was up to me, he'd be under the book uh, somewhere in NXT buried. Uh, Felix, uh, what, do you, what do you got for this? You know, both are so underutilized. Both are getting a tremendous push with each other. I wouldn't be surprised if this match ends up being a match of the night. At least one of them. Yep. Mm-hmm. I say that because each time that either one of those two get in the match with anybody, or each other for that matter, it becomes a really incredible match. And I know Kevin Owens gets a lot of crap put on him because of the fact he's not a muscle bound jacked up person. He's got a, be- a pop belly like a like a beer drinker. <laughs> but the man can get out there and he can entertain like not many people that you can that you can see on the roster today. Even using the matches that he's had with Sami Zayn and Ring of Honor, those two had some freaking wars. But I, I would encourage those who have not seen him to watch him. And I'm not talking about the NXT bullshit that they had match that they had. I'm talking about the no holds barred ladder match crap that they put themselves through. That was brutality, but I loved it. It was it was entertaining. It was good. Now, as far as picking a winner, fans are going to be in for a treat in this one. But the momentum has to go for one of them. It's hard to say because both need it. But if I had to put my money on it, I'm going to go with the beer drinking pop belly guy, uh, Kevin Owens. Now, does Finn Balor become anything involved in this match? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. Uh, let's speed this up a little. We only got two more matches left. We got, hey, another multiple person match. We got Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns taking on Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. Um, a match that I probably would have watched a year ago. But, uh, Felix, what's your feel on this? I'm going to go with the Wyatts only because they need that momentum. I agree with that. And they, uh, and again, because Bray Wyatt beefed up, beefed up, beefed up, loses to John Cena. Beefed up, beefed up, beefed up, loses to The Undertaker. And then beefed up, beefed up. Wait, nobody's paying attention to him anymore? <laughs> I wonder why. Um, <laughs> Nick, what do, you, what do you got? You got the Wyatt family or do you got the two remaining members of the Shield? I'm actually going to go, I'm, I'm going to throw a little twist into it. We talked about this before, too, and I actually still believe that Ambrose is going to turn on, on Reigns in this match. Really? And I think that, I, I think the Wyatts are going to win because Dean walks out on Reigns or does something along those lines. I think Dean turns heel, and I think uh, the Wyatts win the match. 
It's an interesting twist. I'm going to give you another twist. I say Eric Rowan makes a return during this match, gets himself involved, and Sting's music hits. Causing a total distraction where Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns are able to escape and win this match. Setting up Knight of Champions, Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Sting versus the three members of the Wyatt family. Okay, I like that. I like that. Uh, the only question I would have with that is, is Rowan healthy yet? So He doesn't have to be. All he only has to do is walk down the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good point. Very good point. But, but would he be healthy enough to? Would he be healthy enough to wrestle next month? Well, that's, I know he that, had a, really that's bad a different question. He's, he, he's got he's yeah. got a month to, to get his uh, his big ass in shape. <laughs> yep. All right. So, here so we no, go. I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind that. Title for title. Never seen this before. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, never. Never. It's never happened. Uh, John Cena, the United States Heavyweight Champion, versus Seth Rollins. The reigning and defending WWE heavyweight champion of the world in a title for title, which doesn't matter who wins the match, somebody will walk out in a pinfall with two titles, which means the U.S. title will eventually get dropped and probably put into a tournament at Night of Champions. So, who wins this match, Felix? And how does it how does it happen? Pinfall. Disqualification, count out, no contest. What happens? I don't see Cena losing. I don't see Rollins losing. I go with the no contest only because you can afford to lose. As far as the entertainment value goes with Cena, he's been having their matches on Raw, and he's having some great matches. The Cena Challenge has been successful for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't see Rollins losing either because he's, he, believe it or not, he's actually been a pretty good champion. He's a little weasel. But you know what? That's the champ. That's what those real champions are good for. Yep. Now, if Kane doesn't make an appearance in the Lesnar Undertaker match, does Kane make an appearance in this match? Since it was Steph Rollins that made the last stop on his ankle and basically berated and embarrassed Kane while he was laying on the ground that night. I expect him to maybe attack him on Raw, but not SummerSlam. Okay, Nick. Um, wow. I, I don't know how this match ends. We talked about possibly Sheamus cash in at his money in the bank tonight. I oh, really, it, 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 the change, it, uh, Sheamus cashing in really does make sense because both are trying to cash in for that matter. Maybe he tries to cash in a la Seth Rollins at Mania into a triple threat match. Oh, Somehow seems... Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know who, I don't know how they book this match with, it, I'm going to say disqualification where both both guys keep their title. I, and I can also see Sheamus running down at the end of this match regardless of what happens and Orton intercepting him and preventing him yeah. from cashing in. But, so. the, but the big thing is this match could end in the DQ and fans wouldn't be super upset only because this is not the main event. Right. What is so the I just see... Uh, Lesnar Taker is the main event. <sighs> See, to me, that's a bad idea. I think that's bad because you're you're souping this match up to be outrageous, and it might not live yep. up to the hype. Yep. Uh, so, so that's why I see something like a DQ finish and no contest, double count out, whatever it happens to be. Yeah. Well, that was our Summer Slam preview and predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Felix, I want to thank you very much for giving us a call, taking time out of your Sunday. And uh, you can catch Felix on Pipe Bomb Radio. Check them out on Facebook uh, for more information and when they broadcast and all the guests that they have on. Uh, Felix, thanks a lot. Good luck to you tonight with The Undertaker. (laughs) And uh, keep us in the loop if you get any cool China stories. We'd love to uh, promote her as we're uh, going to get to see her at the uh, upcoming events. And uh, she'll also be in Staten Island for Warriors of Wrestling. So uh, we're going to catch an interview with her. So... um, I'm sure I'll be in touch with you about that. Awesome, dude. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. We'll we'll definitely talk to you soon. Enjoy SummerSlam tonight. All right. Have a good night, guys. Take care. That was Felix Olmito, ladies and gentlemen, from Pipe Bomb Radio. Check him out on Facebook. Um, Right now, let's see, Nick. We got some upcoming stuff going on as we uh, announced on September 12th, Nick the Beard will be at the Middletown Flea Market in Middletown, New York. Uh, he'll be catching a word with former WWE Women's Champion Ashley Massaro. Uh, so check, check her out and uh, you know go say hi to Nick. 
that's going to be done by Event Warm Pr Promotions. Uh, go say hi to John. He's the one that's running that. Good guy. Um, let's let's go over real quick. Coming up September 4th. Is that September 4th? I don't even know what month we're in. We're in August, so it has to be September 4th, Nick. <laughs> we got D2W Wrestling coming up in Wharton, New Jersey. On the 12th, we just mentioned in Middletown, New York, Nick will be doing the Ashley Massaro meet and greet, while I will be in Staten Island at Warriors of Wrestling. On the 13th, the next day, CTW Charity Wrestling is going to be live from Dunellen. On the 18th, we're going to be first time ever invited to Pro Wrestling Magic in Bogota, New Jersey. On the 19th, from Wharton, New Jersey, we have D2W again. On the 26th, we're going to be splitting the staff. Superstars of Wrestling, Avenel, New Jersey, and D2W in Secaucus, New Jersey. And then catch us live October 3rd, Legends of the Ring in Monroe, New Jersey, where we'll have Just Incredible, Casey Carlisle, and WWE Hall of Famer Cowboy Bob Orton. Bob. Check us out on Facebook for the rest of that list and where we'll be for the remainder all the way up to November 14th, which will be at the big event, which we uh, said we're going to have Justin Incredible, Casey Carlisle, and Robbie E. from TNA. We're also and possibly uh, going to bring in two more superstars. Uh, we're in negotiations right now. We'll see if that comes about. So uh, visit us, facebook.com slash damage365 for all that information and upcoming shows and uh, conventions. Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, as always, uh, special thanks to Felix Omino and our sponsors and uh, Nick DeBeard. Thanks for calling in and, and definitely, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hope to enjoy SummerSlam tonight and hopefully it lives yep. up to the, the four plus hour hype. And, uh, well, we I'll, miss, I'll miss the. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll miss, no, I was going to say, I'll miss the first half hour, but I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> well, don't, don't drive like a nut to make up for it. Because you remember, you can catch it on the WWE Network in full entirety right after it goes off the air the first time. Yep. <laughs> and fans, we ask you to please help control the nitwit population and have your friends spayed or neutered. On behalf of Felix Omido, JT, and Nick the Beard, ladies and gentlemen, have a great rest of your Sunday and enjoy the four-plus hours of SummerSlam. Hey.